Hello everyone. I'm, my name's Mike. I am actually Sam's dad. I'm usually the one behind the camera. But Sam had said something earlier in our conversations about our channel, and he said that it's Sammy and family, and really the only people that have been on camera are him and his grandpa. And I couldn't agree with him more. Time to get more videos of uh, other members of the family like me. So today he's challenged me to do an MRE video, like he likes to do, but I decided to do one that he normally does not like to do, and that is tuna. This is MRE menu number 10, and this was 2007 on the 151st day of 2007. So let's pop this one open and see what surprises we have in store, shall we? All right, got that off right off the bat, and... Let me take a look here. Zip this one open. And let's get that main out here. And that is Starkist Albacore Tuna. Was not expecting it to be in a pouch like this. And instead of boiling it or using a retort or using the flameless ration heater, which again, it's 2007. I can't tell whether it's going to be good or not. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it right in here in a heating pad. And I'm going to get it warmed up that way. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. I've got dairy shake powder chocolate. I've got salt. Probably not going to use that. Got my MRE spoon. I'm going to take that out now. And what else we got? Oh, nice Reese's Pieces. Peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Sam does not. I've got fat-free mayonnaise. Hmm. From 2007, we're going to have to take a quick sniff of that one before we actually put it in our mouths. And, oh, tortillas. Looks like we're going to be having some tuna tortillas today. And what else? Oh, pretzel sticks. Not bad. And chocolate chip cookies. Although, they sound like they might be chocolate chip crumbs at this point. And our accessories bag. Accessories bag has, of course, gum, spice cider, a moist towelette, that might become in handy, matches, you've seen me take those away, still going to, salt, and TP, hey, hey, I'll use that later. Okay, so let's start off with, since I've already got the main heating there, whoops, let's try that again. Let's do the cider. Now, we're going to get that nice cider in here. Let's see what we can do. All right. Yeah, laugh, laugh away. Go right ahead. Let's take a look here. There we go. Let's see if it's still any good. I've got it in warm water. Mixing it with six ounces, as it says to do on the packet. And let's see. Still apple-y. Uh, it's got a little bit of a metallic taste to it. That could be from the inside of the pack, because the inside of the pack is lined metallically. All right. Next up, let's do the dairy shake powder. And I'm going to first off rip that open and I'm going to pour in six ounces of water. I have 16 ounces here, so I'm going to pour until I've got 10 left in my measuring cup here. No, nope, not yet. A little more. There we go. And now Fold it and give it a shake. Now, I'm going to squeeze the bottom like that just to get all the little crumbs on the bottom there done. And normally I would just drink this out of the package, but since it's a YouTube video, I believe I'm contractually obligated to actually pour it into a glass. So let's see how it turned out. Looks nice and thick, actually. I like that. 
And let's see how it tastes. Here's mud in your eye. Mmm. Not all of it mixed. So it's kind of chunky. So I'm going to try mixing that a little bit more. Oh yeah, look at that chunkiness right there. Mmm-mmm. Milk shakes like no one used to make. Mmm. Mmm. Always a good milkshake if you have to chew. <laughs> All right. Now, while that's still warming, is that still warming? Yep, that's still warming. Let's open up the pretzels. And take a look-see. Still smell good, still smell salty. The oxygen absorber back in there. And let's take a quick look. Looks like a pretzel. Nice and chunky pieces of salt on there. Still got crunch, not stale. Very good. I like it. Now let's try the cookies. Fingers crossed if I might have one that might actually be whole. Oh, look at that. There are some that are in pieces, but they are tiny, tiny cookies. Still with chocolate chips in them. It's nice. Let me give them a bite. Good. Still good. Chocolate comes through. It's a crunchy cookie. And uh, it's your typical prepackaged cookie type of thing. I want to maybe put this in some milk and eat them up like cookie crisp. Mmm. I like that. All right. Tortilla. See if I got something here. Listen. Nope, no hiss. And typical of this particular era of MRE, they took the tortillas and folded them in half, which means that as soon as you unfold them, they break in half almost immediately, as you can see there. All right. Well, let's give that a go with the tuna. Now, before I get to this tuna here, again, I'm going to caution you. With a lot of other MRE types of foods, you're pretty well good at keeping things secure. But when we're talking about fish, we're talking about a completely different thing. If you're not certain that this fish is good, don't try to eat it. Now, this, interestingly enough, it says here that this is, it doesn't really have an expiration date. It does have a lot code. And what's interesting enough, if you can see that, it says product of American Samoa. Nice. I like it. So let's give it an open. Oh, I heard a little bit of a hiss there. A little bit of a hiss. That could have been from the heat. Oh, tuna. Oh, my goodness. I got to take this out. I got to put it on a plate because you are going to be surprised here because it it's going to come out. Oh, almost intact as just a processed tuna patty. Mmm. Oi. Let's give a little taste of that. Hold on. Show it the camera. There we are. Take a look. And. Okay. It doesn't smell like it's gone bad. It's been in an airtight seal. So it still tastes okay. Mayonnaise. Mmm. Let's see if the mayonnaise still is any good. Let's give it a little open there. My hands are greasy from the may from the tuna. Mmm. Hold on. There we go. All right. So, as soon as I opened it, 
I could smell that this tuna, not this tuna, this mayonnaise, is questionable. You may see it, but mayonnaise is supposed to be white. And this mayonnaise, well, it's a little on the yellow side. So I ain't going to trust it. Not going to trust it. So what, I'll, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my tortillas here, put some of this on my tortilla. Now normally you'd probably mix this with, with a little bit of mayo and you would put this in as a kind of a tuna salad sandwich kind of thing. But I'm going to give it a try like this. Mmm. Dry. Mmm. 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 -mm. Let's get some cider with this. Mmm. Well, let's see if the, the chunky shake happens to go over there. Nope. Neither of those. <laughs> I must have played no water here, huh? Fish gotta swim. Okay. Mm. It's bad, but I still can't stop eating it. All right. Maybe a little bit of salt. Maybe. Let's see if a little bit of salt helps. A little bit of salt. Let's give it a try. Nope. Still just salty fish now. Okay. So, even though I said I wasn't going to use it, let's try the salt-free seasoning blend. It says it includes these things. If you want to know what those things are, you can pause the video. So, let's try adding some of this seasoning to the rest of Oh, wow. That I was not expecting. This actually looks good. It smells good, too. Let me just go ahead and take a chunk of the, of the fish there and kind of show you. You can see all the little seasonings. I can see bits of the dill and the garlic and all the little pieces of parsley and other things. I'm going to use my other side of my tortilla shell here. I'm going to put this on here and see if that works out any better than the original one. Got to get it, smush it together like this. And bon appetit. Here's, here's looking at you, kid. Mm. Mmm. Horrible. It actually emphasizes the, uh, the, the grossness of this uh, particular MRE. Mmm. Oi. I'm going to need some more chunky shake. Mmm. Oh. Good thing I saved the Reese's Pieces for last. Here we go. And again, my fingers are slippery. So I'll let him go ahead and do that while I have a couple more of these. And let me talk to you about this particular MRE. So this again, 2007, it is currently uh, 2023. The, uh, the fish was okay. The mayonnaise, still questionable. Tortillas were flat and broke apart very easily. But most of the accessories were really good. The pretzels were really good. The cookies were good. The Reese's Pieces, which Sam helped me open. Pour it in there. Have a look-see. Uh-huh. Just as good as when you gave them to E.T. So let's have a try. Mm-hmm. They're good. Peanut buttery. 
Probably won't go well with uh, cider, but we'll give it a try. Mm. I was right. Not good with cider. So, all in all, cookies, good. Pretzels, good. Reese's Pieces, good. Mayo, not going to try. The fish was all right, but when I added, the, was, it was all right, it's a little dry. When I added the seasoning, though, it just kind of emphasizes how bad it was. So, if you'd like to see more videos like this, if you'd like to see me doing other things, like maybe try, since Sam tried gaming on the Atari, maybe me try gaming on the Switch, which I've never done, hit like and subscribe, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching our channel. Have a great rest of the day.